So I just thought I'd come on and kind of explain the videos and explain where I've been because, uh, so yeah, I look a mess. I'm not long awake. So basically, March, the end of March, I got COVID. So that kind of floored me for a bit. And then April into May, I was working flat out and honestly, my anxiety was horrendous. So I was really struggling to pick up the camera and film and then edit other videos. So the videos are kind of from March, April time. They're not in real life, real time. So the first video I'm going to put up is when I had COVID and then after that it's the North Coast 500 and then it'll be the Maldives and then I'll be back to posting in real time. Um, I don't know what's been happening with me. I don't know if I've just been letting like stuff get to my head and thinking that people are judging me for what I do and just get myself really stressed but I'm back and I'm don't care and I'm gonna have the best time and if people don't like it that's fine. So I just thought I'd update you so you aren't confused because I don't have COVID again, it's the just been from Mark. I don't know if you can see it properly. Don't know if I'm gonna bring it into the light. I'll be able to see it a bit better. Do you see that line? It's a very faint one, but I think it might be. Hi, how did you do, do, do? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy. Now, today is a bit of an impromptu video because I'm meant to be at work. I am currently meant to be on a double shift in work just now and I am meant to be thriving. However, I tested positive for COVID. So, basically what happened, let me tell you, let me, let me just situate. Um, I was on holiday for a week. It wasn't a week I requested, by the way, just FYI. I feel like that's important. They had to give me this holiday um, because I was due them. Um, so I had a week off. You know, I didn't really do too much. I went to, I went to a concert, but it's not from the concert. Um, sorry, I keep burping. This is like a... I don't know why I keep burping, but anyway. I went to the concert and then spent the week just chilling went to Greg's on Friday and we went round to his friend's house and we had dinner and we went to the pub and everything was hunky-dory and one of his friends was unwell, thought it was a cold so like it's not his fault at all but he then, so then Saturday me and Greg were cleaning his flat and I was, Saturday night I really struggled to sleep like I was really really struggling and I was sore I didn't know why I thought maybe it was just because I was cleaning and then Sunday I was like really sore and achy and I was quite dizzy and hazy so I was sitting down, eventually got home, went back, went home, Greg texted me to say that his friend had tested positive and I was like oh, okay, um, got the last of my steps in, was dancing about and then I sat down and I felt really like lightheaded and like whoa this is weird and I thought I'd just do, my throat started to hurt as well so I thought I'd just do a test. And when I say the faintest line appeared, I mean the faintest line, I thought, oh my god. One, number one, I was due back at work um, on the Monday. And number two, I had my dentist appointment to do my infills. So I was like really wanting to, you know, like go and get that done. Um, so I kind of said to my mum, I was really late and I said to my mum, like really late, I'm talking like midnight. And she was like, look, she was like, just go to sleep, wake up in the morning, do a test. So I did another test and the line was still faint, but it was there. So I phoned the dentist to cancel my appointment for my work, explained the situation. She was like, just stay off until we know for sure and um, get a PCR. So I forgot to film yesterday, I think, because it was the first initial day that I was just kind of like, oh, nah. Um, yesterday I had a sore throat and I was really like breathless. Um, <coughs> and then a cough started, sorry, I like that looked like it was set up, it wasn't. Um, so I did my PCR, my sister came and got it from a distance, obviously, and then dropped some stuff off to us. And yesterday I just kind of like spent the day feeling sorry for myself. Woke up today to the text message telling me I am definitely positive. So I did a, um, 
a lateral flow because I wanted to see, I know when it's in your system like it comes up really strong but the line is still faint, I don't know if you can see that well, like you can see a line but it's still quite faint so I don't even think the worst it is in my system. Um, I can still taste and smell which is good and um, I'm feeling okay, like I feel like I've just got a bad cold and my throat's really sore and I'm coughing but like I am doing okay, the only concern we have is my mum is high risk. Which is a bit worrying, but I've been round her now. I obviously like I live in the same house as her. I help like cook her meals and stuff like that. There's not a lot we can do, and my mum's kind of resigned it herself to the fact that she is going to get it at some point. So we're just obviously keeping safe. But yeah, Greg's still testing negative. If he does test positive, he will be here. Um, yeah. So I just thought, you know, what? pick up the camera, I mean, let's film your COVID day. So today I am. I decided I'm not going to get dressed today because I'm going to give myself a day of like, mm, tomorrow I'm going to get dressed. Um, I'm still trying to do my 10,000 steps by the way, which is proven difficult. So I'm going to chill and watch private practice and then I'll take you along for the rest of the day. So that's it. And let's call this the COVID diaries. These can keep me occupied as I get through. I know, do you know what else is quite annoying for my work is... So I was meant to be in a week and then in another week and then I was on holiday again. That was a holiday I requested. Obviously I'm isolating until Saturday. So I'll be back to work on Sunday, hopefully if I've got negative tests. Um, and then I'm literally in three days and I'm on holiday again. Not well planned at all. Most people are like, oh, that's a dream. Like you've literally got three weeks off, but I like work. Like I miss the guys and I miss like the people I work with. And I like, I like going to work. So I'm quite sad about that, but. Yeah, smash a huge thumbs up and I will take you along for the journey. So I've done like, oh, what lighting? I've done 2,000 of my 10,000 steps. Feeling a bit breathless. I ordered myself food because we don't obviously, can't just go out and get a, which is a bit annoying. But I'm going to sit and finish watching private practice, eat my food and then chill. How do you do? Three I think we're on. <coughs> Woke up today not feeling great. I'm gonna I know I'm positive, but I want to see like how much the line is dark now because it's been light for days also my hair, ain't it? But I'm going for a bath today and clean like, present myself better. But just now oh, I'm barely surviving. So I've hit that boredom. My mum's not very well, she's got a migraine, but I'm hoping she's not got COVID because obviously she's high risk, but <coughs> I'm sitting on a doorstep because everybody kept telling me how hot it was outside and I think they're lying. Um, my sister's coming down to bring coffee, yeehaw, obviously it's social distance and she's bringing us some food and stuff like that and being colours. Um, I was going to get up and get dressed today and be like hot girl summer in the garden. It's not that warm. What happened? I might walk about the garden and get my steps in. That might be a good way. I don't know. Had a boredom. I don't even know what day we're on, but I feel awful to have a headache. I need to eat. Um, I know I'm still in the same clothes. I did have my plans to shower and change, but it's actually such a struggle now. So you're just gonna have to bear with me as I think. I'm gonna try and shower today. So, oh, I think I forgot to record today actually. So I don't, I don't know what day I'm on. Day four, I think. Um. I woke up this morning with a blinding headache, which was not fun at all. Went back to sleep until about half twelve and got up again. And then I kind of had a slow day. As you can tell, my voice is a bit bad and my cough sounds like... <coughs> <coughs> so, um, took a lateral flow when it was like proper positive. I'll send you, I'll show you the video. But I spent the day catching up with Robbie, which was nice. And speaking to Shora, meeting baby Cormac. And then later that night, my mum tested positive, which not great, but there's nothing we can do. It's currently like half two in the morning and I am struggling to sleep. So yeah, that's day five. I had a dinner day with Greg as well, which was so sweet, but I mm, was just thriving. Day five, I think, of Corona Diaries. Um, <clears throat> as you can tell, my throat is still really sore. Um, I feel better today, I just feel like I've got a bad cold now, yesterday was horrendous, but I got myself dressed in the cutest outfit. 
took some photos to make me feel better. Sat in the garden for a bit, but it was actually freezing and now I'm just trying to do some steps. I am still feeling really tired and lethargic, but okay so far. So I uh, spoke to Craig, I spoke to Karen, I see my sister because she was dropping my mum's PCR off because my mum's tested positive. Uh, drop like taking it to get dropped off. So yeah, all in all, we're moving forward. I did the lateral flow this morning and it's still positive, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. I've decided as well I'm just going to have a few hours lying in my bed watching the telly because as much as I'm feeling better um, the last few days I've always tried to kind of get up and get out of my bed so I am currently lying in my bed. I've done 2,000 steps so after that I'll get up and make dinner and then do the rest of my steps but for now it's just a chill one. Do my steps, trips, try to get them in because... You know, still got to do them, but I'm tired, very, very tired, so I'm not going to tell you. I'm just, which I'm not copying them, I'm going to do that, I'm just marching on the spot, but I'll keep you updated. <coughs> just drop my juice. How do day 25 is completed? I have been struggling, I'm not going to lie. Like in the morning and when I wake up, I do not want to do my steps because I'm just so tired and exhausted, so I kind of have to rush them late at night which isn't good when you got covid um feeling a bit better today than i have been but it's still exhausting i am still very very tired doing them and it, like my ribs and stuff hurt more um i don't know it's not as easy as it looks but thank you for so much for your support and for welling me on and i am determined to get this done and fi <coughs> finished so please 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 share my donation button page and help me get to 400. I think I've recorded today. I'm not very sure if I've recorded today. I think it's day six of isolation. I woke up today feeling a bit better. I'm still very tired and my cough's still lingering. The Hadra just came to surprise me. She sat in the garden so social distance and she got me some flowers from and then she got me like a care package. I'll insert the video through for Instagram just because I can't read what I've done on that but Definitely lifted my spirits. Maybe it feels much better. Uh, by the way, my mum's coughing in the back. She's okay. The um, COVID diaries day seven. I don't think I've recorded at all today. Um, it's Mother's Day, so I've just had a really relaxing day. In the house, my mum, my, my sister came to drop stuff off. We watched Dancing on Ice. I watched the F1, Glad Max one, and then we ordered a takeaway that was taken ages. By the way, ages and ages to come. And then they just came, she was like, oh, by the way, I hope you get better soon. So that's cute, so now I'm going to get this. We're on COVID day eight, I think. I woke up super late today, I'm not going to lie. Greg did phone me at half seven this morning thinking he had COVID, but he doesn't, so it's fine. Um, but then I never got in my bed till ten to two. But I'm quite breathless still, um, and I'm obviously tired, but I'm feeling better. I've had my first negative test today, thank God. So one more tomorrow, and then I can go out tomorrow, and I can go back to work. But had a few nice long face time with Greg discussing where we're going next week and then yeah I'll be speaking to my mum get my steps in but I'm feeling okay I'm doing better. Troops it's my last day of, is oh, of isolation Um testing negative this morning testing negative yesterday so I get to go out today I'm gonna go food shopping and I'm gonna come home and do dishes and yeah I'm so excited it's been a journey but we got through it.